Automation lanes are a new addition to X2. They allow you to view automation data and edit each individual lane. This is helpful when editing multiple envelopes at once, either within the same track or across multiple tracks. To view an automation lane, click on the automation lane icon in the track header. Any existing automation data on the track will be broken out into lanes. If there's no automation data associated with the track, a volume automation envelope will be created. You can create additional lanes by clicking on the plus icon. To hide an automation lane, click on the minus sign. Clicking the minus sign does not delete any data. X2 assigns automation lanes to specific parameters in a prearranged sequence, but you can reassign them using the lanes edit filter. If there are existing nodes on the envelope, a new envelope will be created and the original envelope moved back to the main track. Adding another lane breaks out the envelope into a new automation lane. Automation lanes are indented from the main track and have their own widgets and filter. There is a Select widget to the left of the Read Write buttons. Click on the Select widget to select the track and the associated automation lane. X2 reads and applies automation data during playback. The fader also responds to automation data. If you want to bypass or ignore automation data, disengage read mode. To create automation data, click the W to enter write mode. Once the write mode is armed, X2 records or writes any movements of the assigned controls or parameters. The fader position provides visual feedback about the automation. You can select nodes across multiple lanes and tracks. Simply select the time range and the automation lanes containing the nodes you wish to edit. You can also select multiple nodes by right-clicking and using the lasso select method. You can add to them by control-clicking additional nodes. You can move all of the selected nodes by clicking and dragging any one of them. If too many open automation lanes are cluttering up your workspace, you can use the Automation Lanes Close button to place the automation data back into the main track. Once closed, the envelopes appear ghosted. If you wish to edit the envelope track, the Edit filter needs to be set to the relevant envelope. There are a couple of quick tricks to do this. One way is to hold down the Shift key while the cursor is over the ghosted envelope. This will open a pop-up window. Another option is to hold down the Shift key and then left-click on the envelope. This switches the Edit filter to that envelope. You can also hold down Shift and then right-click to switch the Edit filter between the last two selections. If you'd rather not see the envelopes, switch the Edit filter to Clips, and then select Hide Ghosted Data from the Display submenu on the Track View menu. Finally, you can restore the automation data into lanes by clicking on the Automation Lane button.